Hello, this is LV from Comic Book Bin, filling you in since 2002. Today we're going to be looking at part Varma, Wolf, Spider. I've bought two of them. I've made them army builders. This is the latest character from Hasbro. It's a new character on the Joe side, never released. He was supposed to be an army builder. They liked him so much that they made him a unique character. Another unique thing about him is that he's the first G.I. Joe character of Indian descent. That's a good first. Let's look at him further. I bought two Wolf Spider, Port Pharma. I bought this one. So it could be the original, well, the latest Joe character in the franchise besides the Mole Rats. And this one, so it could be a true builder. So he does have the regular head, but I'm just going to remove it for now. And I'm going to replace it with this head, which is the exact same head that came with Kamakura. And this was supposed to be Kamakura. So with these two heads, I now have army builders that look slightly different. So if I don't break the peg, perfect. This one is actually a bit tight than that one. So what can we say about Wolf Spider that we haven't said before? His body is a whole reuse of scrap iron. So knee pads, boots, this is all scrap iron. Most of the padding and the equipment on the chest and the thighs are from Beachhead. The weapon is from Falcon, so is the backpack. The helmet, which is quite groovy, the funky colors, is new. I will say it's a beautiful helmet. Push it a bit like this. It's a great addition to the character. It really makes him stand out. And having two of them makes me an army builder of Wolf Spider. Now I don't know who I'm gonna call this other guy spider wolf, but it's a unit of two. They rescue soldiers that go down the helicopter, the dragonfly. The articulations, as usual, pretty simple. Arms can raise up, still a bit stiff. They all went through hot water, by the way. Twist of the biceps, double elbow articulation, wrist. This one is inside and outside, and that one would be something similar, I think. They come with the older Joe weapons that are not very nice, and Falcon's backpack and knife. The knife doesn't stay well, it's too loose or or not thick enough to stay inside of the socket here. It's too bad. Because of the weight of this backpack, the figure will fall often, but at the same time, this figure tends to lean forward a lot. So I guess it's the best of both worlds. But this figure is not perfect in that sense. It's still very stiff. Both of them are very stiff, even though, like I said, I put them in hot water earlier this week before I could even pause them, but they're still stiff. This one, the spider wolf, I guess, white guy, has problematic ankle articulation. Apparently, when those articulations here are not very good it's because there is problems with the actual mold depreciation i really like these figures i like the fact that we do have army builders in gi joe right now that actually look better than the steel brigade or well grunt for me is for the original green guys this is how they compare next to another night force figure your shipwreck that i had on hand still shipwreck will never stand up properly it seems he's a follower by the way next to a few cobra troops python patrol troopers range viper and the range viper is beautiful it's a gorgeous figure another night force figure big ben a giant and i've got a shooter here i think shooter is gorgeous much more smaller than the other guys try to play with those articulations since they're very stiff yeah very stiff so it does have some good butterflies like i mentioned he's been given a real good bath but it's not helping he raise his arms this piece here, it keeps falling off. This guy, easily lost. This extra rope can be used with other characters. I'm probably going to use it with Shipwreck. My articulations here are still very stiff, even though it's been given a bat. This kind of torso vest prohibits any kind of uh, articulation in the abs. So it's going to be very stiff. This is groovy, but it doesn't align properly most of the time. You may have to adjust the helmet to make sure that it really fits with those night like, vision binocular. I really like the yellow highlights all over him. It gives him that rescue look he could even be a regular joe in terms of working on the helipad or something like that but arm as you can see i've got the same issue with the articulation with the arms here very stiff and this backpack which tends to want to fall it did the same on falcon also always wanted to fall i like this figure better paid applications here than on falcon's backpack the night goggle accessory obviously fits in his head if you want to put this or the helmet you'll have to remove the whole head entirely it's not going to fit so you need to rip off the head entirely if you want to be able to use this feature I like this figure i like the set having minimal army builders so there's two of them for me they're expert in what they do and that's how i'm going to be using them so wolf spider and i'll call him something else mustard maybe who knows find a name for him so this is lv from comic book bin like and subscribe comment down below see you next time